This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So here we are now. It's you and Randy Orton, ECW One Night Stand 06. You've said this was your favorite match during your short time in ECW. And here's what Dave Meltzer had to say about this. When Angle, the biggest star of the quote unquote new ECW came out, there appeared to be some resistance to the idea he was infiltrating their sacred alliance, but soon enough, they were fine with accepting him. It was a weird crowd. Angle versus Orton was the only match on the show that didn't have at least one moment, if not several, where either guy was wrestling sloppily, mistiming moves, missing spots or getting lost. Yet it was also the only match to get strong, boring chance. Orton was cat called every time he used a wrestling hold. So let's just time out right there before we continue with the observer recap. So Dave sort of felt like it was a weird crowd too, that eventually they came around to you and you guys had probably the, the best technical wrestling match on the card, but a boring chant. That's not something that Kurt Angle's gotten a lot of in his career. How'd you react to that? Well, Randy was telling me to calm down. You know, we, we made the match a little more methodical. We didn't have a lot of action starting off and. Uh, you know, I, I think that might have affected the match a little bit, but Randy's such a great heel. He calmed the crowd down. He got him to uh, get emotionally involved in the match. It took him some time, but but he did it. And he he was able to get the fans behind me, and that that's what a great heel does. He has to frustrate the fans in a good way. Uh, give them what they need, not what they want at the time. You give them what they want. What they want is the finish. Yeah, and he Randy is holding them off until they start getting with the match. That's why Randy is so good. So Randy was calling that match to the best of your recollection. Yes. Randy called the match. The heel for the most part calls the match. He leads the match and uh, Randy was the best at it. And for this show in particular, do you remember there being a lot of stuff that you guys would have worked out beforehand, or is it just going out there and feeling it out? Maybe you have a sequence here or there and the finish and that's probably it. Yeah, we, we, we went over the match. We, we went over it for about an hour or so. Um, you know, we came up with some good ideas, came up with some good false finishes, the lead up to the finish, and the, the match was really smooth. I really liked it. So even despite all of the uh, boring chants and Orton getting cat called, he wasn't rattled. He was ready for it, and he was probably in his element. I mean, he loves being a heel, so this is a great day for him, right? Oh yeah. He loves pissing the fans off. I mean, that's Randy, you know, he, if he could, he would wrestle for three hours and make them fall asleep. <laughs> it's just Randy. He just, you know, he's a natural heel and, uh, he, he, he wants the fans to absolutely hate him and he's very good at it. You've, uh, you've wrestled in Japan and obviously the, uh, the fans react a little differently to wrestling over there. And obviously they're polar opposites from what we saw here at Hammerstein. You've also wrestled in like Stone Cold Steve Austin's favorite arena is the old Rosemont Horizon, the Allstate Arena just outside of Chicago. And you've wrestled in open air stadiums and giant domes. But I've always been curious, what do you prefer? Because I, I feel like you'd want to be in front of a, a really hot crowd like this, but you said earlier, it's one of the more challenging audiences to wrestle in. I've heard other wrestlers say, man, Japan is really challenging because they don't make a lot of noise and cheer like we're used to here in America. And then at the same time, you hear other guys say, I don't want to wrestle in a stadium because that sound just goes straight up. You can't hear what's your favorite style of crowd. If you had to pick, I like Rosemont Madison square garden, those arenas that are big and, uh, full of space, but the fans aren't right on top of you like the Hammerstein ballroom. Yeah. Uh, that, that's an obnoxious crowd there. You know, it gets really hot in there. I mean, it's like, yeah. it's like an oven because it's so small and it's so, um, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for. You're, you're packed. I mean, you're jam packed in there like sardines. So the body heat just in and of itself, that many people in that small of a space is crazy. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I, I prefer not to wrestle in stadiums, even though they're the biggest, um, uh, you know, ticket sales. But sure. Um, I do like the, the arenas that are big, uh, like the Chicago or Los Angeles yeah. or, or New York, even Pittsburgh or Philadelphia, the, they're great arenas. 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.